Hurricane Hillary has now strengthened to a Category 4 as the storm continues on a path towards Southern California. Sand berms are now in place in some coastal communities as we brace for possible flooding. We have live team coverage tracking Hillary's approach and a potential impact starting with Kai Goldberg. He's here with your first forecast. Well, thanks very much. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, Lou. We have a big storm and now becoming much stronger as we just heard a Category 4 hurricane. You can see Hillary very clearly and look at that eye. Very distinct cylindrical starting to pick up speed and these outer bands really lashing Cabo San Lucas at this hour. We're also seeing heavy rain through Puerto Vallarta and we're looking at these very strong winds gusts of up to 175 miles per hour. This category four hurricane really strong out there in the Pacific and as it makes its way a little bit further to the north and northwesterly direction, fortunately not making landfall in Cabo San Lucas. It'll again stay offshore making our way through tomorrow as we head into the evening hour should be downgraded to a category three, but again, still very dangerous, still very powerful by Sunday morning, a category two, then we'll head into Sunday evening when we will begin to start seeing some heavier rain coming to Southern California and then downgraded to a category one. Now it's going to be very interesting once she makes her way closer towards Ensenada, Tijuana could stay a category one could possibly be downgraded to a tropical storm and that's what probably will occur. She will weaken somewhat, but again, heavy rain coming to the region. You could see that courtesy of the storm tracker as Hillary makes her way up the coastline and coming into Southern California with heavy rain, strong winds, high surf, and we've already got some advisories coming into Southern California as well. And look at how that moisture continuing to make its way north after we make our way through Monday and Tuesday up into Montana, Idaho, Nevada. But take a look a tropical storm watch. This is extremely rare. It hardly ever happens here in Southern California. The last time we had a tropical storm coming to these shores was 30 in 1939, so 84 years ago. So we can expect to see windy conditions, thunderstorms as well as rain. And on top of that, we're looking at a tremendous amount of rainfall. We could see flood watches. Those will also begin Saturday as well as Sunday. A lot to go over with Hillary, but the beaches will be also very dangerous. We're going to continue to see the possibility of flooding as well as some water spouts. For more on that, I want to take a look and turn you over to Corrine Winter. She's live in the Long Beach area with how residents are preparing. Hi, Corrine. Hi there, Kai. They are getting ready. They're not taking any chances, so they're prep prepping ahead of this uh, storm. This is a work underway here in Long Beach. This is what residents have been doing all day, stopping by, filling up, getting those sandbags. And the last time this area was hit with a tropical storm was many decades ago. So of course, preparations underway, getting those sandbags to fortify their homes and property ahead of the storm. Uh, they've been fortifying also the berms at the peninsula. You'll hear um, more from officials in a bit, but Hurricane Hillary has strengthened to a Category 4 storm as it approaches Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. Over the weekend, it's expected to weaken, but it'll bring significant rainfall to this region. And with that, the threat of extensive flooding. Now, Kai, you just mentioned it the last time a tropical storm ravaged Southern California way back in 1939. It came ashore near San Pedro, damaging Belmont Shore here in Long Beach. The storm ripped homes from their foundation, left behind a trail of destruction. And from Seal Beach to Huntington Beach, while other coastal communities, they're also bracing for the storm's potential impact residents. They're being advised to secure outdoor items like patio furniture. Um, also, of course, take a lot of caution when driving through rough conditions with possible flooding expected in those low lying areas. Power outages as well. Also expected. Here's more from officials. The main impacts from this are going to be, you know, windy conditions, very rainy conditions, especially if you're in the mountains and into the deserts. Uh, we're going to see some, you know, very heavy rain over the next few days with this. So um, starting probably sometime on Saturday, Saturday night, and then some bigger impacts are going to be felt on Sunday and Monday. And the south facing beaches, those are most in danger from this storm. The last time they had extensive flooding here in Long Beach was in September. This area, it's prone to flooding, but residents know the drill. Officials saying that they're uh, in a holding pattern right now, of course, as they monitor the forecast and track the storm's path. And as we come back out here live and show you, 
the work that's been underway, not just yesterday, not just today, but uh, according to the fire captain, you'll hear from him coming up at noon. But he says these berms that you're seeing, it's always being fortified. They have bulldozers coming out here. Um, and so the work continues. And when you get to um, a day like today, right, where we're days away from the storm's potential impact, this is not when you start preparing. You prepare throughout the year and days in advance. So you'll hear from him coming up at noon. And also residents who are collecting those bags ahead of the hurricane. We'll send it back to you now in the studio. All right. Thank you so much, Corrine. We appreciate it and stay up to date on Hurricane Hillary and track the storm's path with our interactive radar. You can always find it at our website. It's ktla.com slash Hillary.